Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you all the collectibles in Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart. We're going to start things off here in the very first world, Course in 5. Now, a couple things you need to know. Collectibles will automatically save when you pick them up. You don't need all of the gold bolts, but you will need all of the bears and the crystals and spy bots. But we'll get into that. So we're heading in this first world to our first gold bolt. Again, remember, you only need five for trophy purposes. But we're going to head over to this factory area off the marketplace. Uh, just going to go to the kind of the area to the left of that, and that's where you'll find the factory. Inside of here, there's going to be a couple collectibles. The gold bolt's going to be uh, in this room. This part's a little tricky. You need to do a double jump off the crate as it's passing by, and then just double jump up this wall. And then we'll find the gold bolt in the uh, corner. Uh, we'll go through that door next, but not just yet. I'm going to uh, embarrass myself here. I, I, I do apologize. I had some difficulty getting around this box that is coming towards me. But we need to get to the other side of it. Not that way. Yeah, this is embarrassing. All right, there we go. Finally made it. You can see the gold bolt spinning over here. So let's go ahead and pick that up, and then we're going to get our first spy bot. Now remember, you only need five of the 25 gold bolts for whatever reason, but you are going to need all 10 spy bots for the rhino weapon so speaking of spy bots our first one is also going to be in this factory remember that entrance way that i mentioned well i'm going to go through there now I'm just going to make my way back i promise this would be a little cleaner there we go all right so we're going to go through this next door over here and uh, as we enter this next big room you're going to see another opening back outside on the far side uh, that is ultimately where we're heading uh, but you want to look for a yellow forklift that is holding up a blue box, a large blue crate, which is right here. Because we're going to use that blue crate and another passing by box here to jump up. All right, so now we're going to go outside. Once you're outside, there's uh, really only one way out of here. And that is going to be through the location where the spy bot is located. So we do need to jump across the other side. There's going to be a train here. There's going to be a bunch of enemies on the opposite side here as well. I will edit them out for time. Once this train gets out of my way. Okay, so the spy bot is going to be located on the far end here. You can see the big round tube. We're going to jump in through there, but of course, pick up this buy bot along the way. Remember, collect all 10 of these, and that's how you will earn the Rhino weapon. Once you get all 10 of them, you just go to any vendor, and uh, you can buy it for free. Okay, so we are back in the market in the center of Corson 5 here, and I'm going to go out the east exit. There's some stairs going down, and I'm going to go down to the left. And there's going to be a Krager Bear. We need to find nine of these little fellas. They're cute, and they squeak whenever you pick one up, which is adorable. So that is the first and nine. You will need all nine of those. Okay, so if you're looking at the map here, I'm in the same area, but you see this blue pocket or this purple pocket dimension. Uh, inside each of the pocket dimensions are armor pieces. You need to acquire one of each type of armor piece. So for the head, legs, chest, and that's it. But I'm gonna still show you all of the armor pieces. There are 24 of them. I think one of them you get automatically. And I think that covers here. So that is a helmet. All right, so we have another gold bolt. It's in the uh, area just kind of south of that previous location. And what we're gonna do is reach this area and you're supposed to kind of double wall jump up there. Instead, we're going to go to the back right corner here. And there's going to be a rift. We're going to pull it close to us. And then there's going to be another rift, which will take us right to the bolt. That will be your second bolt. Speaking of bolts, we got another gold bolt. Now, this one's going to require the Omni Glove. You do acquire the Omni Glove in Course in 5. So after you acquire it, backtrack towards the market area and then find this little path here. You're going to see some wall running to the right, see the blue uh, arrows on the pads. Well, with the Omni Glove, we can run across these. And doing so is going to take us to the gold bolt. Don't forget your raritonium. Your raritonium, rather. And then circle around for the gold bolt.
All right, so we have a glitch challenge. Uh, this one is automatic, story related, as actually most of them are. There are five of them, and we do need to find all five of them. Not all of them are story related. But that's it for uh, the first world. We're going to head over to Sargasso now. Now, the first piece of armor we're going to find is going to be in a rift, not far from where we land. Now, in the, all of these rifts, these pocket dimensions, they're very short. It only takes you a minute to get through them. Just make it to the end. That's all you need to do to acquire the armor pieces. I'm not going to walk through each of the, the, the dimension, the rift dimensions. They're pretty easy. All right, so further north on along the left side here, we're going to make our way. There's going to be a vendor over here. And what we need to do is go travel to the back side of this building. You're going to see another rift we can pull ourselves over to. And on that platform over there is the gold bolt. Speaking of gold bolts, we have a fifth one we're going to look for. Remember, you only need five for the platinum. So in that same area, we are now just traveling the story path. I always do these guides uh, along the story path, so you should be uh, right around the same area. But after you fix this bridge, you could take the speedle over to the next area. Now you see that greenish silo out in the distance there? We just need to go behind it in order to find the gold bolt. Now if you've gotten all the bolts up to here, you will earn the trophy for this. I will still continue to show you the bolt locations because the bolts will unlock cheats. And for the completionists out there, I'm sure you'd appreciate it. All right, so we have another armor piece. It's gonna be a robot disguised boots. And we're in that same area, so we're gonna use a speedo. And we're actually gonna head into Rift's hideout. Now we have to hit all three of those green buttons in time. You need the speedo in order to do so. Then we can L1 grapple over. And there's actually going to be a pocket dimension down here. So uh, Rivet's hideout is above us, but we're going to go into the pocket dimension first. Get to the end of the pocket dimension and we'll get the uh, boots. So after this, as part of the story, you're going to have a boss fight. The boss fight is going to be pretty fun. I don't want to spoil too much, but it's going to be the secret peed. As you can see here, this is just a little clip of it. Once you've defeated the secret peed, head back to the same cave we were just in moments earlier. So after the boss fight, you're going to return back here. And now we're going to go into Rivet's hideout, and there's going to be our second Krager Bear. Now inside of here is where you get the Lombax and Chill Trophy as well. To get that trophy, now I have a guide for it, but I'll tell you, it's really easy. Just interact with that TV just to the right. But to the left, look for this purple couch, and on it is going to be the bear. All right, so armor number four is going to be another pocket dimension. It's going to be on the south side of the island. I've pretty much already completed this world. Now I'm just going around and doing the, the kind of cleanup with the collectibles. But once you get to the end of this, you'll get a, another armor piece. Now you do need three armor pieces, one of each type for uh, one of each body type in order to get the platinum. But I'm, again, still showing you all of them. All right, so after you've gone to the third planet, you can now get a new armor piece here. You couldn't do this earlier. Now you have to do Trudy's quest here. This is a, a series of quests. You're gonna have to get Zerp stones. Now there are 60 Zerp stones. You will get one armor piece after you've found 30 of them. And once you get enough of them, you get to ride Trudy around. Once you get 45 of them, I believe she, uh, Trudy can shoot. Now remember, you can't do this until after you've completed the third world. Don't worry, I will remind you later in this video. Okay, so you don't need the armor pieces necessarily for platinum, but you are going to need spy bot number two. And that is for finding all 60 Zerp stones. I'm not going to show you the locations. They're going to be on the map. Some of them are in, up in the air and you can only get while flying with Trudy. Speaking of flying with Trudy, there's actually a gold bolt you can get. In this same area that again you can't get until you've uh, completed the third planet but once you've got uh, Trudy just go to the center area you see a, a big array of radar dishes in the center here in this ring is the gold bolt you can see it from a mile away it's hard to tell what it is that's the location there on the map 
And that is it for that world. We are now heading to Scarts to Debris Field. Basically, there's not a whole lot here. There is the uh, Zerky's Bar, which is where the challenges are located. And we'll, you'll spend a lot of time in there in a bit. But first, let's get this gold bolt if you'd like it. Again, you only need five, so you might not desire this. But this is going to be right down here. We're going to have to drop and kind of dash into it. There she is. I don't think it's possible to get that thing without falling, by the way. All right, so there is another pocket dimension. It's in this area. It's very easy to see, by the way. And clearly marked on the map if you get close enough. So we'll pull it, pull it open, enter it, and then acquire the Q-Force helmet at the end. Okay, so now we are going to head up to the bar, and there's a lot going on in Zerky's bar here. Uh, when we first enter it, though, we're going to find, right near the front, we're going to find Krager Bear number three. And it's going to be right here on this crate, just as you enter. Okay, so I mentioned the challenges earlier. They're all... Uh, done through this little monitor uh, there's bronze silver gold which you guys should be quite familiar with in the bronze challenge we need to uh, uh, do this first challenge we are going to get this is part of the story by the way so don't worry about it uh, we will get an armor piece as a reward for completing bronze one there are five levels in each bronze silver and gold there we go robot pirate boots Okay, so gold bolt number four, you can f uh, find, or gold bolt number eight, rather, is in bronze four, the fourth challenge in the bronze. So you're going to complete this. It's a race. It's fun. Completing it, of course, will get you gold bolt number eight. Now, if we do bronze five, we are going to get another piece of armor. These are going to be some more boots. So defeat the uh, bony T-Rex. And that's all you're going to be able to do the first time you're on this planet. Now, you can return back to this planet after the seventh planet, and you'll have silver challenges. And after the final, the ninth and final planet, you'll unlock the gold challenges. So after the seventh planet, you can do silver. And if you do silver three, you will get another gold bolt. Again, I'm showing you these now, but I'll remind you later in this video to come back. You can see my counter at the top says 19. The, t uh, the counter you see in the game and versus what I have labeled could be very different. All right, so silver five is going to get you the, the Carbonox advanced chest piece. So if you return here after the final planet, after the, the boss, you have an option to uh, reload the checkpoint right before the final boss. So you can come back and do the gold challenges. Now gold four is going to get you spy bot number three. So you're going to have to do all those other challenges just to get to the uh, uh, spy bot here. So gold one, two, and three. And then gold five is going to get you another piece of armor. Okay, one other collectible that is in here that you can't get the first time you come here. However, you can get it after you get the hurl shot on Torn 4. So once you get the hurl shot, leave the bar, which is hard for me to say because I love bars so much. Once you're out, and we're just going to go around on the back side, and you'll see a, a spy bot way out in the distance. Again, you need the hurl shots. The only way you can uh, get over to that distance. There you go. That was actually my last spy bot. So I'm just going to show you here real quick. Once you get all 10 spy bots, just go back to any of the vendors, and you can unlock the Rhino 8 for free. All right, so that's it.
But now you can travel back to Sargasso and do the Trudy's quest line that I showed you, the 60 Zerp Stones. So you go back and do that if you like. But I'm going to move on to Savali. This is kind of a big open area. We get the, uh, the hover boots here, and the hover boots are absolutely glorious. Now, from the spot I showed you on the map, that's the starting spot. You've got to use your hover boots to zip over each of these three buttons. And now inside of here is Lorb number one. Now, you only need three Lorbs, okay, for the Platinum. However, uh, three lor Lorbs will get you uh, an armor piece. After seven Lorbs, you'll get another armor piece. And after 12 Lorbs, you'll get another armor piece. So I'm just going to show you all 12 Lorbs, which I'm assuming stands for Lombax Orb. They are uh, voice recordings, audio diaries, if you will. So let's go do Lorb number two, which is kind of in the same region. You can find a little dead end path over here. Of course, there's going to be some enemies. And you'll find another Lombax shrine. You just have to just destroy the orb. I don't know why you destroy it. All right, so in the area just north of there, you can see it. There's an objective marker nearby. Lorb number three is going to be found up here. This one is going to require you to chase. There's a few of these in this world, actually. You just got to get close enough, and then you'll have a prompt to hit L1. Uh, don't do what I do here in the beginning. Just tap to L1 because that's not enough. You have to press and hold it as the uh, dialogue prompt there <laughs> tells me. I got to catch up to it again. Here we go. Press and hold it. Now there's a button, a green button. That'll stop the uh, transport. All right. So Lorb number four, kind of in that same area. We're going to actually use our hover boots here. This is always fun. When you get to the top of this jump, don't jump. Just let the natural momentum carry you over here. If you try jumping, you'll actually fall short. But there's the shrine. There's the fourth orb. Again, you only need three for platinum. But I'm going to head over to the center of the area. This is actually where the, the, the vendor is located. There's also another shrine, another orb. Now, the quest, there's a quest giver uh, tied to these lorbs. And it's uh, close by, so I'm just going to go talk to him real quick. Because that's how you get the, the armor pieces. Again, he gives you three pieces of armor based on how many lorbs you found. Wait a second. I think if you can bring me four more lorbs, I'll give you some chest armor to match those legs. I've marked... Okay, so just north of that area is going to be another uh, lorb here. It's up to you to decide whether or not you want to go and collect all these things. Depends if you really want all the armor. The armor pieces look really nice. All right, so we are now traveling way south. Another Lorb. This one's going to require you to pull that dimensional rift. And then just follow this up and around. Use the, the little bouncy fungus. Get yourself up there. Okay, so I'm kind of in the same neck of the woods. I'm just a little further east. This one's easy. Nothing you have to do for this one. Kind of, as you can see, I'm kind of doing these in order. Just whatever one's closest. Uh, this one's a little puzzle. Uh, this one's actually really easy, though. You just hit the whatever light is red. Simple as that reveals the shrine. All right, now let's just go to the bottom right corner. You can see there's a pocket dimension nearby. I'll, I'll kind of circle back for all that. I'm just going to get the lorbs done and out of the way. And 
of course, you just have to destroy all those uh, boxes. Destroying boxes and collecting nuts and bolts uh, never uh, never gets old. It's very satisfying. Okay, so just a little west of there, along that southern border, and this one is going to require you to use the hover boots. Hit that button. Hit this other button here. I missed it. <laughs> Hopefully I have time. Oh, I got it. Never mind, I thought I missed it. So there is the shrine. There's only one more lorb. Of course, it's on the southernmost island. Once you cross the bridge, go to the right. We're going to have three rifts we're going to pull. And then a little rail grind section. Rail grind this right into the uh, shrine. Can't miss it at that point. Okay, so I just want to remind you that if you go back to the quest giver, now that we have all the orbs, we can get two more pieces of armor from him, if you desire them. Now, also in this area, uh, just south of here is the hot springs. There's a, a trophy for the finding the uh, the characters in uh, the citizens in the hot springs. So just be mindful of that. It's quick and easy. Just find the water and jump over it, jump in it, whatever you want to do. Okay, so now let's go get armor number... Uh, this is the 14th one we found. This one's going to be another vehicle that we're going to chase. So th this... And I've showed you the map, but just be mindful. Obviously, it moves. It, just kind of search the area. It won't be too hard to find, I promise you. Yeah. Just do the same thing. Hold L1 and get onto it. Hit the green button to stop it. All right, now we're on to something a little bit more fun here, or spy bot. So this spy bot is going to be uh, inside here. We're just going to climb up these rocks. We're going to just jump across these little rock pedestals into the cave and then follow this cave down to the end, leading us to the spy bot. Don't forget your raritarium. L1, L1, and then you'll drop on the ship, and you can see the blue glow. Now, it may be a trap, or it may not. I'll let you guys find out on your own. But we are going to head over to gold bolt number 10. It's going to be up near uh, where one of our lorbs was earlier. Now, there's a button here. Now, in order to do this, you need to use your hover boots and uh, get up to speed. And then just drive over each of these green buttons. This actually takes us quite a far away from where we started. This is that first gold bolt you may have seen for the first collectible. There's an icon. There it is. There, once you get through the, the rift there, you'll pop out right in front of the gold bolt. Okay, so there's a pocket dimensions. Uh, two of them down in the bottom right corner. Let's go ahead and get through this one. This is going to get you some Wombax Praetorian, uh, Praetorian boots, rather. All right, so very nearby is a gold bolt. We'll go ahead and snag that. This is going to be the 11th gold bolt. It's going to be another vehicle you got to chase. So, again, just keep looking around this area on the map if it wasn't in that exact location. But once the chase is on, it moves pretty far, pretty quickly. All right, there we go. We're on. Open the hatch. Grab the bolt. All right, so we have another armor piece. There's 23 or 24 of them total, so this is number 16. It is in the other pocket dimension here. And once you get to the end of that, you'll uh, acquire it. Some little tricky platforming on that. Not too bad. None of the pocket dimensions are difficult at all. 
All right, Krager Bear number four, another important collectible because we got to get all nine of these. Now we're on the southern island again. This time, instead of going to the right, we're going to the left. And uh, I should have waited until, <laughs> until that bridge formed. A little impatient. We're just going to keep following this around. We're going to jump over. You see this uh, fence right here in the corner. Nice, cute little area. All right, so now we have another glitch challenge in this same area. I do not believe this one. I Actually, this one is story related. You can miss this one either. Now, the glitch is the uh, name of the little robot, and the challenge is what you have to do inside. I cut, edited all that out, so you're still going to have to complete that. All right, so there's a gold bolt and another glitch challenge, but you cannot get this until after you've completed the eighth planet. Uh, after you complete the eighth planet, the story takes you here. So you have to go through that door for the story, but you want to turn around and uh, use this little glitch challenge. You complete this. This is the, uh, I think, the third one I've shown you, but it is the final one you will actually come across in the game. Uh, once again, I'll remind you after the eighth planet to come back here, but once you've done the glitch challenge, a bolt will be revealed. Two for the price of one. All right, now we're heading to Blizzard Prime. We have Blizzard Crystals now. There's They can be found here in one other planet. The majority of them are here, two-thirds of them. Now, the Blizzard and Crystals, a lot of them are story-related, including this one. Hitting a crystal will change the dimension, change time. It'll actually change the entire world. It's rather technically impressive. So you're going to need all 30 of them. I'm going to show you all 30 of them, even though many of them, not all, are story-related. So these first three Blizzard Crystals are story-related. Now, in this room is going to be a Krager bear, a bear. So once we've hit that crystal, let me just show you the map here. Once we hit that crystal, we can now find it on uh, oh, right here in the pile of garbage. Gold bolt number 13. You see, we're kind of in the same uh, area. You got to jump across here. Now, there is a path to the left. So I'm going to take that path to the left because taking a path usually will lead you to something good. Might be a couple enemies here. Oh, there goes hover boots, man. The hover boots are so fine, I'm telling you. Absolutely love them. Really, really good way to traverse this game. All right, so the next area you're going to come to where the vendor, the little village here, there's a purple crystal. Thankfully, they're really easy to spot. So we'll go ahead and hit that. Now that we hit it, you'll see there's a gold bolt in the distance that just got revealed. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. I'll show you the map. Now remember the map changes depending on which version of this dimension you're in. So if you're looking at your map and going, it doesn't look like his map. Well, the reason why is just hit the crystal. And we're on different planes of existence. But we're just going to uh, follow this. A couple surgical jumps. And it'll take us right to the gold bolt. You'll see the Blizzon crystal we just hit moments ago. It's right in front of us now. So shiny. All right, so in the kind of the top right corner of this land mass, we're going to take this path. There's going to be an alternate path here to the left, just past this NPC. You see a pocket dimension. You know what that means. Pocket dimensions always lead to armor. Complete that, and you'll get the Galactic Ranger chest. Hmm. All right, so continuing the story path, we have a series of uh, three Blizzon crystals. The last one actually will reveal a gold bolt. So that's the first one. You see the world completely changed. Much destruction. Just keep following the path. It'll lead you right to another Blizzon crystal. And there is going to be a third Blizzon crystal. One you can actually miss. In this area. 
This is the, the area where you're doing the optional quest. Of course, you're doing the optional quest if you want the platinum. So gold bolt number 15, as soon as you hit that crystal, turn around, the gold bolt will be there. It's magic. Spy bot number six. Uh, this requires you to complete the finding uh, the missing chef quest. So you'll come to this woman, you'll have to go and defend her honey or whatever she's doing. Once you've done that, you come back, talk to her, pick up a trophy while you're here. Also pick up a spy bot. Okay, so I'm kind of in another area here, kind of working the story path. Uh, we got some story related automatic crystals. You can't miss. I don't believe you can miss any of these over here could be wrong the next section there's two more crystals I don't know why I took a little detour to knock some crazy I have a hard time walking past boxes in, in, in ratchet games there we go so we got those we have a another one in that same general area so once you hit that last crystal you'll come outside run down here and hit another one continue the path straight and you'll find another crystal again story related so there's two over here there's i should not have hit this one just yet what you need to do is use the left crystal in the back and then use this little device to move it to the right and then you can go and hit that crystal down here A little puzzle, not too difficult. There we go. There's crystal number 15. All right, so now we've returned to the, the previous center area. Uh, there's a, an alternate, short alternate path here that we are going to take. There's going to be two crystals as well as, uh, I believe, some uh, armor. I can see it, actually. There's crystal number one, maybe the 16th one. Crystal number 17 just past there. Now, once we hit this crystal, the armor is going to be revealed right in front of us. Yes. There are 30 Blyzon crystals, just want to remind you, between two different worlds, and you do need to find all 30 of them. But at the end of this one, uh, there's going to be a rail section, and this rail section has a crystal you can easily miss. I don't know if it's necessary because I actually got the trophy on my 29th Blyzon Crystal, so maybe this, both of these up ahead are not required, but there's a Blyzon Crystal right there. Continue forward, but you're eventually going to get to a section where you're going to kind of do some uh, circles, you're going to kind of loop around. Uh, I'll explain it once we get there a little bit more. And it's right here. You'll see there's another crystal to the left and to the right. So you can't go to the center yet. So you got to jump left or right. So I jumped right and I'm going to hit this other crystal, which will then open up the, the, the passageway. However, there's another crystal in this area. So I'm going to bounce over to the other track and then circle around and hit this one. One of these is easily missed. Although I'm not 100% positive you need both of them. So I'm, I gotta do another track. I gotta hit this crystal again because I need it. To, I need everything destroyed. Now I'll get back on the center track and now flies on crystal number 22. So try to get both of those in those looping circles there. And then eventually that rail will drop you right here. After a few things you're gonna do, you're gonna have to switch dimensions. You're told to, this is story related. Let's go ahead and hit this crystal. You can skip those guys. Because all, most of them disappear. All right. So now if you go back to the third world, the Scarts to Debris Field, silver challenges are now open for you. So feel free to go in there. But you'll have to go back there later anyway. So you can hold off on that. But we are now in Torin 4. This is where we're going to get the little hurl shot thing. All right, so in the very beginning here, just take this path here to the right before 
jumping off to the left. This will lead you to a gold bolt. More uh, rare, raritanium, raritanium, raritanium. I cannot say, I can't talk to that, guys. All right, so now I've jumped across, followed the story path. Now, once you get to this little village, go to the right. There's a passage here to the right. You're going to see a spot where you're going to use your magnetic boots to go down, leading us to spy bot number seven. Remember, getting all 10 spy bots will allow you to purchase the Rhino 8 for free. You can see that's my fifth one in game. Just again, the in game and my uh, tracker in the bottom aren't going to be a little different. All right, so I'll get back on the main path, go through this village. But before we get too far to the right next to this TV is another Krager Bear. At the end of this area, you can see we're just kind of following the objective. There's a rail section here. I find rail sections to be quite enjoyable. I don't know about you. Let me know. Now, what you're looking for here is, of course, the gold bolt. But what you're looking for is a yellow rift you can pull yourself into. So where you hit L1. So just keep doing this. Just be prepared to hit L1 once you see the rift. It's easy to see. You just don't have all day to hit the L1 button. All right, there it is. So make sure you hit L1 right there, and that'll take you on a new section of rail where you can get the bolt. Okay, so in that same area, I'm just following the story path. I've now made it over to this little island here. If you look to the right as you're walking, you'll see a... Another pocket dimension. I can be. And at the end of that, we get the another helmet. Okay, so that's it for that world. Now, if you headed back to Scarts to Debris Field, you now have a spy bot that wasn't previously available to you. Just wanted to point that out. You can go now or again later because you're going to have to do the gold challenges after uh, the last planet. But in Cordelian here, we got some more Blyzon crystals. Uh, you'll see a vendor. You pass the vendor up the stairs, you'll see the crystal. Go ahead and hit that. We are going to then follow the crystal or found, follow the path down. Exit a doorway here to the left. And we're going to find a Krager beer at the, a bear at the bottom. It'll be kind of out in the open over here to the left hand side on top of the snow pile which will then lead us to another blinds on crystal remember the blinds on crystal some of them are story related but this one is not so you're gonna have to use your boots you have your boots to get enough speed to make that distance to that jump but there's the blinds on crystal which then leads you to the gold bolt which is right next to it at this point, you can't miss it. Speaking of gold bolts, we are heading over to another one. See, we are trying to get to a forge here. We're going to go inside. Now, you're going to find a dope, an open door here to the left. Well, almost open. You have to use your the rift there to pull yourself into it. All right, so we're making our way through the forge here to the forge, and there's another crystal. This one is also story-related. Don't worry about it. The spy bot, however, is not. So from that room, we're just going to go into the next one. As soon as we enter this area, I'm going to look up, way up, really high, until I can pull myself through that rift and get the spy bot out. That little guy can uh, be tough to find. Unless you're using the accessibility options. All right, so a bit later on, you'll see another crystal. This one also is story related. And then we're gonna find some armor just ahead. Um, 
actually, you got to turn around. You don't want to go just ahead. You want to turn around because there's a pocket dimension that wasn't there until you hit the rift. Or the crystal, rather. Get to the end of this, and you'll get the Captain Star Shield chest. To pop back out of this pocket dimension, we're going to have a glitch challenge. It's going to be in the next room. So from that crystal, the previous crystal, just head straight. I don't think you can miss this one either. All yours, glitch. All right, so now you're going to get to the section where you're completely underwater. You're going to come through. You're going to see two paths, a stone path to the left and one to the right. And take the right one. You'll see a wall that you can uh, use your magnetic boots to get up into, which will lead us to the 20th bolt. Oh, my favorite color. Huh. Pick up that bolt, get back on your main path, just follow it. Just go the way you're supposed to go. You'll eventually run into a crystal, another story related crystal. Okay. Nothing you can do with that guy, so don't bother. Just switch dimensions okay so we have to uh, return to the forge follow juice juice of course is the uh, our little buddy our new buddy he will break open the glass there allowing you to uh, open the, the crystal now that's crystal number 29 and I got the I got the trophy for hitting every crystal even though there's one <laughs> it's just feet away so I don't know. Maybe you don't need both of those on the, on the previous planet. All right. So we're moving on to Ardolis. We're going to start off with armor. So from the ship, just kind of follow it around. You know, you get to this section here, you have to drop down to a sandy beach in order to find this pocket dimension that's below us. Okay, there you go. Hopefully you don't. You're, hopefully you're not dizzy. I'd be dizzy. I'd be vomiting right now if I was spinning around like that. But I'm not a lombax. But thankfully, Ratchet is. So we are heading to the pirate trials. This is the first trial we com I completed it already. We we'll take a, a elevator up. Once you get up, you'll have another challenge room. Uh, this is the glitch challenge. This will be the final glitch challenge I show you you will still have to go back and uh, backtrack to get one of them. But complete that challenge, and you will also find yourself a gold bolt. So how about that? All right, just past there, we're going to find a Krager Bear, number eight, the next room. And now it's time to find a spy bot. So after the pirate section, you're gonna, you can teleport back to the, the vendor area. And we're going to go to the very, very, very top right corner of this map. So from the vendor, we're just going to go off to the right to this pirate ship. There's a round circle that will lift us up. It's going to be a wire we're going to grab onto. Now from here, I'm just going to use my hover boots to get some speed going. And then jump up. Hover and then dash down to this area. And then at this point, just go to the very top right corner of this area, and uh, hopefully you'll find it. It'll be right next to the teleport pad. Do not use the teleport pad, however, because we are going to use a speedle to get the final collectible in this area. It's a gold bolt. There's a teleporter, and there's the spy bot. High five, buddy. All right, so don't use a teleporter, as I mentioned. Get the speedle. Uh, we're going to use a speedle to get to this lone bolt right out in the middle. There's going to be a ramp that we're going to use. Uh, make sure you're holding R1 when you're riding the speedle for uh, increased speed boost. That speed boost is what we're going to need going over up the ramp, not this ramp. Look for these crates right here. 
All right, so just drive off that. Don't jump, just drive off of it. And that will be the final collectible here. Now at this point, you can go back to Savali because uh, a gold bolt and the final glitch challenges is now available to you. Now the story is actually gonna take you there next. So you'll walk right past it at that point. So make sure you, you do it at that point. Uh, after you've completed that, you'll head to Viceron. So we're going from the vendor. We're not going to jump across over there just yet. We're gonna keep going around to the right. Dash through there. Dash again. Dash again. And there's the bolt. So shiny. How about you guys uh, pick up the final spy bot? What do you say? Because that's what we're going to show you here next. This is going to be in the uh, next building you get to. It's a big building. Um, you're going to go through this fan here. Now, I had an issue with my capture, so I had to kind of come back and record this after the fact so I don't actually see the spy bot here. Or the trophy pop. But we're gonna come in here. Now this is story path. Your story is supposed to go left, but we're gonna turn right, break the fan in. The spy bot would be right there, I promise. So just around the corner from that previous location is gonna be Craig or Bear number nine. You'll see Clank encased there. He's, uh, he's stuck. We're gonna try to free him. After we open up all the cages, we can now go and get the Craig or Bear, which is in one of the cells. I'm gonna go ahead and skip the cinematic. Enemies are going to come. That's fine. Bear here first. Unbearably awesome. It is awesome. Gold bolt number 24. Again, you only need five of them. Five of 25, which I find very strange and very odd. Not sure I I dig that, but what if, whatever. All right, so once you get back outside, go to the back right corner. Jump over this box. You know, you'll find the, the gold bolt. find some armor. You're going to find Ratchet and Clank in a little cell. You'll see it right in front of you. There's a bunch of other cells in this area. They're still locked up. Sorry, buddy. But in this area, <laughs> you can see the armor. It's just inside the front left as you enter this room. Only a couple more things here, guys. Uh, armor number 23, kind of in the same general area. There's a pocket dimension, so we're going to go ahead and enter that pocket dimension. Right by an another vendor. And the final thing I want to show you is the final gold bolt, number 25. Again, the gold bolts past five are really only there to unlock cheats. So just keep uh, making, your, uh, uh, making your way around. You're going to see this big, large-scale fight. Um, you're not actually part of it. There's two other sides are fighting at the moment. But you just come in here, and you'll find the gold bolt. And so that is all the collectibles. Uh, at this point, after you complete the final, the, the ninth world, the ninth planet, you can go back to the Scarf's to Debris Field because now the gold challenges are available in Zerky's Bar. So thank you guys so much for watching. And please uh, hit that like button. I would appreciate it very much. And, of course, if you're a trophy hunter, subscribe.